Hey all! In this video I'm continuing to explore the new uh, firmware update that just arrived for the Line 6 Pod Go and Line 6 Pod Go wireless users and this time I'm gonna focus on the new delay, the Euclidean delay. Although it was a long time ago, uh, when I went to high school, uh, the program there was very math based. Unfortunately, I do not remember anything. It was 15 years ago since I finished. No, it was, it was 17 years ago since high school ended, so all that knowledge kind of evaporated. So what I suggest that we do together this time is do some light reading about the Euclidean delay. And I'm going to visit the Line 6 Podgo uh, site where we can find the info about the Euclidean delay. But first, let's visit Wikipedia and uh, read just one sentence about the Euclidean algorithm. In mathematics, the Euclidean algorithm, or Euclid's algorithm, is an efficient method for computing the greatest common divisor, also known as GCD, of two integers, which are numbers, the largest number that divides them both without a remainder. That kinda makes sense. So what are Euclidean rhythms? The Euclidean rhythms were formally discovered in 2004 by a computer scientist named Godfrey Toussaint. However, the roots of this algorithm go way back to Euclid and when he was alive that was 300 BC. So quite some time ago. So Line 6 decided that they want to make a delay based on this algorithm. So there are five things inside the Euclidean delay that we need to understand and I'm gonna dig uh, into that in just a second. There is step time, feedback, steps, fills and rotation. The mix, the low cut, the high cut, the levels and the trails are the uh, parameters that we have in, I think, almost every uh, delay or reverb plugin inside the PodGo. So first let's investigate step time and step time sets the time between steps. So let's investigate the time between steps. Of course I'm using the new Mandarin Rock ramp along with its cabinet. There's the Euclidean delay and I have the Hot Springs reverb at the very end of the chain. So these are the default settings of the Euclidean delay and this is what happens when you play them. <laughs> Okay, first let's try to increase the time between steps. Let's increase it a bit more. And let's increase the feedback, which is supposed to control the overall number of repeats heard for the entire sequence which is kind of what a feedback uh, control does in a normal delay. So increasing the feedback up to 50%. So currently, to my ears, this is kind of sounding like a huge mess, so I'm going to bring down the mix down to 30%. And let's manipulate these low and high cut values. I prefer my delays to be a bit darker when they are uh, repeating themselves, so let's make a high cut below 5k. And let's increase the low cut just a bit, up to 150. <laughs> So the next thing that we're checking are the steps. The steps determines the number of steps in the sequence. So we can have one step or 16 steps. So let's try one step first and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
So I feel that we lost all the repeats, so let's try to increase them to four first. Okay, now let's try to increase the step number all the way up to 16. And now I'm gonna bring the mix up so we can hear the number of steps that are happening inside. I don't know, this is still weird. So as you can hear, the number of repeats is bigger. And let's check out what we can do with the fill control. The fill is the number of active taps whose spacing is set by Euclidean algorithms. If fill is higher than steps, the extra taps are ignored. Come on, line six. Did it have to be so complicated? Uh, let's try to increase this fill to 16 and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna decrease the number of steps now, I'm gonna decrease the number of fills, I'm gonna decrease the feedback just a bit. What does the rotate control do? So rotate, it rotates all fills forward by the same amount from 0 to 15. Used if you like the sound of a repeat pattern but want the fills and gaps shifted forward, so it's acting like a delay in front of a delay, I guess. So let's try the rotation. So this is rotation at zero. Okay, rotation at one. Rotation at two. Rotation at four. Rotation at eight. And finally, rotation at 15. Okay, this rotation thing is kind of confusing, but I have a feeling that it's shifting the delay times forward, as they said. So the notes that are repeating themselves uh, are kind of melting within each other, if that makes sense. And let's decrease that rotation. One thing that's weird to me now is how the first two or three cycles are really loud and then the others kind of diminish uh, suddenly. I have no control of this. I'm gonna decrease the number of steps and I'm gonna decrease the number of fill. Okay, let's try to increase the feedback just a bit. I'm 
gonna change the hot springs with a dynamic hole because we'll get much more ambience then. Okay, I'm gonna decrease this rotate parameter because I got a feeling uh, that we're gonna get something more simple to control. Okay, let's decrease the feedback a bit. I'm gonna also bring back this fill control back to one. Increase the feedback again. Anyway, again, that hole sounds really, really good. Anyway, I'm kind of afraid to say it, but that's it. <laughs> that's it from this demo. The Euclidean delay is definitely a very potent multi-tap type of delay, but these controls are kind of confusing and they all interact with each other. And I think I will need to go back to this diagram that uh, Line 6 offered and read a bit more on the Euclidean algorithm to get to know this uh, new uh, delay that we got uh, a bit better. I'm kind of sorry that I didn't dial in a decent setting, I was just trying to experiment with it. It sounds fun, it's gonna be great for ambient tones, but honestly I'm st still not sure how to use this thing. But I promise the next time you see me use the Euclidean delay, I'm gonna make something out of it for sure. So that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm gonna be uh, demoing the new Procore Red and I'm gonna try to pronounce that thing one more time. It's the Ratatouille distortion. <laughs> Bye all.